Hello my friends and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back with another new release review. This particular article is the second full-length studio album from, I guess I'm going to say, death metal band because there's a lot of interesting elements kind of thrown into the mix there but I guess the undertone there is death metal. Band formed in around 2013, I believe, in Massachusetts, USA. I'm talking about Fuming Mouth, with this album, Last Day of Sun, out now on Nuclear Blast Records, released a couple of weeks ago, I believe. An interesting band. Now this is this is one of those cases of a band where I'd, I'd heard the name, um, I knew that there was rumblings in the underground, a lot of interesting uh, praise being given to this band as being something a little bit different something a little bit more stand out in a scene where, let's face it, there's no shortage of death metal bands, there's no shortage of bands vying for that kind of, you know, that position at the top of the resurging wave and the resurgence of death metal bands, certainly in that more old school style. There's plenty of bands around, but this band, I was starting to hear some good things about, and then just happened to see, almost by chance, that there was a new album coming out, Last Day of Sun, released a few weeks ago, as I say, uh, coinciding very nicely with a UK tour alongside Celestial Sanctuary, death metal band from the UK. Been talking about them a lot on this channel recently. A very good band. So I thought I'm gonna have to do my homework here. This is uh, this is a local show. See what it's all about. Happened to just delve a little bit deeper. Happened to just pick up a copy of this after listening to a few of the singles. And I have to say, this is really interesting stuff. This is very, very different, but at the same time, it's very familiar. Yet it's also very original. This is what I mean. It's complicated stuff. But Fuming Mouth essentially are a medley, if you like, a combination of old school death metal, in my opinion, very much in the less the kind of US death metal sound, less that kind of Morris Sound studio sound, more akin to what we're getting from Scandinavia in the forms of bands like Early Entombed, Early um, Dismember, Carnage, God Macabre, these kinds of bands with that very buzz, fuzzy, awesome kind of distorted heavy riffing, that kind of HM2 pedal stuff. Reminds me a little bit of bands like Lick or L.I.K. reminds me a little bit of Entrails, unsurprisingly, these bands that sort of pay homage to that classic Scandinavian or more specifically Swedish old school death metal sound. Uh, so it's a combination of that and also, I guess, more modern or like hardcore elements as well. There's even a track on here that combines those monstrous riffs, those huge fuzzing tones with basically like clean hardcore vocals. It's really interesting stuff but there's also a bit of difference there there's also a little bit of melancholy there's also i don't know a little bit more kind of emotive honesty rather than just songs about attacking a crowd of people with a chainsaw or praising satan or burning down a church you've got a lot of interesting different stuff going on here so fuming mouth with last day of sun this is a curveball release but i am really enjoying it i've listened to this album so many times over the last couple of weeks because I just don't feel like I can get my head around what I'm listening to sometimes. But this is a great album, and I very, very much look forward to catching them on stage in Norwich in January, I believe. So many gigs coming up, can't always remember what's when. But check this band out for sure. So Last Days of Sun, or Last Day of Sun, I should say, is 12 tracks in total. It is, um, I believe, about 45 minutes long, so it's not overly long. But it is start to finish killer material. The only sort of filler, if you like, is a, is a brief interlude piece in the form of uh, The Sign of Pain. But we kick off with Out of Time, which is like a six minute long old school death sounding track. We've got some very capable musicianship here. The band, I don't think we've got a picture of the band, unfortunately, but the band is comprised of uh, Mark Wellen on vocals and guitars. Seriously fantastic guitarist and a very capable vocalist as well for this style. We've got Andrew Budway 
sorry, it's very small font here, uh, on guitars as well. We've got James Davis on drums, doing a seriously formidable uh, performance behind the kit there. And then we've got Pat Merson on bass as well. Thick, prominent tone. That is what I like in my death metal. There's no thin, reedy bass here. It's all heavy, percussive, low-end stuff. Very good. As I say, very capable musicians. And Mark is a very capable vocalist. He's, he's clearly got the talent if he's able to do that old school death metal growls, deeper kind of guttural stuff. And also give us that kind of hardcore, aggressive, shouty, a little bit punk kind of vocal style as well. So as I say, we kick off with an absolute belter in the form of Out of Time. Then we get a very fast paced, ripping, thrashy kind of hardcore infused track, Respect and Blasphemy. So we get these two really weighty death metal tracks before we get that very heavy still. It is still heavy. The musicianship or the instrumentals are weighty. I'm talking massive buzzing riffs, cool intricate guitar work as well. But third track, The Silence Beyond Life, has got that massive chorus. Very catchy, very memorable, but it's just a little bit odd. It sounds a little bit more akin to a, a deathcore band or a metalcore band than it does to an old school death metal style band. Very good though. Be interesting to hear other people's interpretations of that because when I first heard that, I was totally shocked. But it really stands out. And to be honest, I think it really works on this album for this band in this context. They're pushing the boundaries. They are doing something original here. Be interested to see what people think. Then we've got uh, The Sign of Pain, as I mentioned. Uh, we've got Leaving Euphoria, which is a bit of an odd one. Again, very different. Don't really know how to describe that other than being a bit of a curveball number again. Then we've just got pretty much belters after belters. Uh, I'll Find You is a little bit more hardcore again, but it's got that kind of attitude and that aggression to it. Uh, Disgust Elude, again, a bit of an interlude piece. Uh, just kind of creepy. It has a little bit of a Slipknot vibe to it, I think, personally. Uh, then we've got Kill the Disease. Full of spite, full of attitude, but it's old school aggression. Last Day of Sun, heavy as hell. Personal favourite follows on in the form of Rip, Rest in Piss, which is freaking heavy as hell. So channeling that dismember, so much, you know, attitude and aggression there. Burial Practices, again, heavily leaning towards that old school um, Scandinavian death metal style. And a slightly longer closing track. Postfigurement. A heavy song. A very good song, though. Nonetheless. Seriously good album. This is one of the hardest to kind of define albums, which is why I said it's a combination of old school death and, I guess, kind of hardcore elements. It's got aggression there. There's, there's also a thrashier pace at times. Things do pick up. You've got some really chug-worthy riffs there. Pretty much throughout, this is all headbang-worthy stuff. It's not overly technical or progressive or complex to the point where you can't headbang along to it. It's got plenty to groove along to. It's just a freaking great album. I would recommend this album for any fan of more modern death metal, more modern death metal bands such as Sanguis Suggabog, they're a good band's recommendation, um, Tomb Mold, Vomit Forth. Also, if you like your Dismember, if you like Entombed, if you like Carnage, if you like those bands then you're gonna enjoy this certainly for the fact that i think it's very original they're doing something a little bit different here rather than just trying to replicate what we've heard time and time again so if you're looking for some serious fuzzy monstrous distortion excellent vocals pretty thunderous drums and bass then you're gonna want to check out fuming mouth up and coming young band this is a second full length album and they are they're doing something seriously cool. Check it out. Be interested to hear other people's thoughts and opinions on this one. Something a little bit different. But be sure to check out Out of Time. You want to check out uh, Kill the Disease and Rest in Piss. Check it out and let me know what you think. Be interested to hear thoughts and opinions on Fuming Mouth with Last Day of Sun. Essential for any Dismember fan, any Sanguisuga Bog fan. Check it out. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Please do feel free to like and subscribe. Please do check back soon for more reviews and recommendations of all the good heavy things. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Stay heavy.